let's talk about how to optimize your experience in Coach. This one does involve you spending a bit more money, but it's not that much, I promise. Shelling out another $40 or so for Comfort Plus or Main Cabin Extra Seat is well worth it. Most perks include extra legroom, more in-flight entertainment options, and Wi-Fi. Disclaimer, this one will only work with airlines like Southwest, where changes and cancellations are free. Before takeoff, check the updated price of the flight. Prices fluctuate all the time, and if ticket prices are currently lower than what you initially paid, go ahead and switch that flight and receive a refund. We're not talking about the overpriced, understuffed garbage that you have to pay for once you're already on board. We're talking about a quality neck pillow, one that'll cradle your cranium in style. Now, you can snooze in the sky without a fear of a stiff neck. Avoid that mad scramble of cramming your suitcase into the overhead case with everyone else and gate check your bag. This way, you can board as late as possible and the crew will take care of storing your luggage with no charge to you. There are two types of flyers, considerate recliners and ruthless recliners. More often than not, you're gonna deal with the latter on a long flight. But don't worry, I have a solution. You can strategically choose a spot behind limited reclined seats. Occasionally, these are exit rows you might have to pay a bit extra for, but check out apps like SeatGuru to identify where those limited reclined seats are located. So what's your advice for flying coach? Drop a comment below and stay tuned to Lifehacker for more tips and tricks on how to do everything better.